Hi, my name is Yang Cheng, and I'm a PhD candidate at NNU. In this talk, I present our paper, Wide Light in the Wide Investment Ring with a Flashlight. Our method recovers object mesh and the material maps. The input L system is a set of calibrated images under unknown ambient lighting. We use a co-located camera and flashlight device, such as smartphones, and the flashlight is turned on for about half of the time during image capture process. Otherwise, we do not require flashlight and non-flashlight image to come in pairs. Existing inverse rendering methods can be divided into two categories, those limited in a dark room environment and those able to work under ambient lights. Dark room methods use a single and controlled light source in which case the reconstruction problem is well posed. By contrast, ambient reflection involves solving an expansive integral over all lighting directions, in which case the reconstruction problem can become male post and intractable. We combine darkroom and ambient methods to get the best of both worlds. This is based on the physical law of superposition, which states that when the scene is illuminated by both the flashlight and the ambient lights, the total reflected light is the summation of flashlight reflection and ambient light reflection. Since the ambient term is hard to solve, we approximate the integral with a neural net instead. We run two shading passes. For the flashlight reflection, we use a physically based shading model that is able to constrain the material reflectance properties. Additionally, we run a neural ambient shader that defines a neural light field. Unlike previous methods that explicitly integrate ambient lights, our ambient shader is not guaranteed to be physically accurate, but proved to work well in practice. To support automatic background separation, we predefine a spherical region of interest within an excessive radius. We represent the foreground sphere using a neural sign distance function and a 3D material field. The background geometry outside the sphere is of no interest to our method, hence we use a nerve-based representation with an additional reflectance field to account for flashlight reflection in the background. We jointly train our networks by comparing the rendered images to the input. We use a volumetric renderer based on alpha composition. Foreground alpha values are derived from news and background alphas are derived from nerve. The SDF values are regularized by an additional econal term, and we optionally use foreground mask for supervision if they're available. Now we show reconstruction results on four objects from a synthetic dataset. We're able to work on complex geometry and materials ranging from diffuse to metallic. For each object, our method received a total of 150 images. Half of these images are lit by ambient lights only, and the other half are also illuminated by the flashlight. Once the training is complete, we extract triangle meshes and render them in Blender for this visualization. Compared to existing in the wild methods that explicitly integrate ambient lights, our approach yields consistently better results. Now we show real-world results captured by an iPhone. Each object is recovered from 50 to 100 images without foreground segmentation mask. We are able to get high quality consistent with the results on our synthetic dataset. To ablate the importance of flashlight, we run an experiment with varying flashlight intensity. When the flashlight is too dim, our method struggles on material reconstruction due to lack of supervision from the physical flashlight shader. When the flashlight overpowers ambient light, our method also fired due to extreme highlights. However, this latter case is unlikely to happen in reality due to the limited power of real-world flashlights. When we disable the flashlight shader altogether, our model is reduced to plain new baseline. Here we show results on a specular bounding model. Compared to news, the flashlight path is useful in regulating geometry in the presence of highlights. To conclude, we present a hybrid method that combines both the dark room and in the wider setups for inverse rendering. Our method involves two shaders, a physically based flashlight shader for recovery materials, 
and the neural ambient shader that sidesteps the problems of explicit ambient shading. Our setup is simple and practical, and the inverse problem is well posed. We're able to get consistently better results than existing in the wide methods. Thank you for listening. You can find our data set and code on the official GitHub repository.